Well, hello, virtual educators, and welcome back. On this video, what I'm going to do is show you how Bloom's Taxonomy and the steps of the LTDV, LTVD process connect. So let's just get started. Now, the first level that we're going to address is level two, which is understanding. Um, we could say that level one, remembering, just logging in is remembering, but uh, we won't be that simplistic. We're just going to skip over remembering and go straight to understanding. All right, so on, the, on level two, as you learned in the previous videos that you watched, when students understand, they're able to restate information in their own words. They're able to construct meaning and explain what's happening. So for step number two, the students are sharing terms from the article or the chapter, and they're defining those terms, and then they provide a real life example to clarify meaning. So in step two, they are directly developing that part of the cognitive domain where they're establishing their understanding. They're making their understanding clear to their group members. All right. So in step number three, they are extracting the author's main message. So they're having to explain what the author intended for the audience to walk away with? What was the message that the author wanted the um, intended audience to receive? And so there again, we're on level two with understanding. In step four, the students are extracting or identifying the major themes, the topics and subtopics in the article or the, the chapter, and they're summarizing those concepts. And if you remember, I, as I went over the steps, I explained that my students do what's called a full sentence outline, okay? And, but you can opt to do um, the other option that I've done where they just pull out three or four major concepts. And that requires all of them to go through you know, what, what I would have them to do in that case is each person would share the three or four major concepts that they found um, that they believe to be in the article or the textbook. And then the next person would share and they would kind of come to a consensus of the three or four major ones. So if there were some running things um, that came up, they would, um, you know, collaborate to figure out you know which ones they think come to a consensus of, about which ones they think would be the major themes and the topics and subtopics for the article or the textbook all right so that's how the understanding level is addressed in the LTVD let's move on all right so now applying which is level three and analyzing which is level four now when we're talking about applying we're saying that it requires students to make connections or to solve problems or to transfer their abstract ideas into practical situations so in the second part of step number four which is where they extract those major themes and they summarize those major themes and subtopics the second part they have to pose analytical questions to each other so I showed you in a previous video where on their study template, they come up with two to three questions that they want to ask the group. And those questions are created based on the verbs from Bloom's Taxonomy. So I provide that as a handout. I have a folder with information that explains to them how to create this, these questions. And also in the training module that I have on the LTVD, they learn how to pose questions that are analytical, that are open-ended. Okay, that, and, that, and that requires them to do some application. And application involves them also answering questions that they've never heard before. That's another aspect of application. So on the one hand, the students are posing the questions, but on the other hand, those who are answering the questions are having to apply because they haven't heard these questions before. I often tell the students if the answer is directly in the chapter or directly in the um, article, then that's not an analytical question. 
All right, so then um, for step number five, the students are applying what they have just read to other works. So remember we said a part of application is making connections. So they're making a text-to-text -text connection when they do this. And so there again, they are using the application process. In step number six, they apply the information that they just read to themselves. And so I ask them to make a personal and or professional connection. They can choose which one they would like to make. But upon making that connection, they also have to share real life examples of how they might apply the information. Now, when they're giving these examples, they're also stepping into the realm of analysis. Because when we talk about analysis, we illustrate um, a relationship of something of one to another, but we also so we, we, we recognize the relevancy of what we have read, okay? And so they under, they're beginning to understand how relevant this information is when they're able to share an example of how they might apply it in the real world. So that's, that's level four of Bloom's Taxonomy, which is analyzing. All right, and finally, evaluating. I love this part, as I told you, I'm in the previous video. So level five, the students get to experience, they get to evaluate, um, the, they have uh, five categories that they evaluate the author's presentation. And we talked about that, that the reader expectation, the audience appeal, the organization and illustrations, the author's credibility and authority, and whether or not the article or chapter was useful based on the student learning outcome for the course that may be the focus of the article. Now, now, when students evaluate, what are we asking them to do? We're asking them to judge, to criticize, and to assess information. And I am telling you, this is very difficult for them. They'll say, oh, the article was good, or the article was boring, or the article was fascinating, but don't give details. So there's training that has to go into teaching them how to evaluate and how to determine the um, audience, who the, who the intended audience was, um, how to, to look at the language based on being a reader of whether or not the author used um, uh, reader friendly or user friendly language. Uh, they have to determine whether or not, as we went over in the, in the previous, we went over the steps, they have to determine whether or not the article was organized well, whether there should have been charts, whether there should have been illustrations or tables. Um, they have to uh, determine whether there should have been any kind of data added to the article. They also look up the, the author to see if this author is credible enough to write the article or the chapter or the textbook. Okay, and then once again, they determine whether or not the article is useful. So they're doing a lot of evaluation and it is an amazing thing to watch them grow in this area over time. It gives you an appreciation when you see the judges on reality TV shows that, you know, you might look at a dancer on, let's say, on um, Dancing with the Stars, and you might be like, oh, my goodness, that was awesome. And then you hear one of the judges just break them down and tear them down because they have expertise in that area, and they know exactly how their footing should be and their arms and all of that. So, <laughs> As future educators, these students are learning how to read research, they're learning how to evaluate the research, they're learning how to um, determine a bias, they're learning how to not just consume information and accept it for what it is, but to critique it. And so I really love this particular, um, and if you are as old as I am, you remember probably an undergraduate, as an undergraduate, having to critique an article. And I actually used to hate doing that. But in this way, uh, through discussion, it's really um, a stimulating activity. And so at the end, they get to evaluate the group. And a component of that on the reflection form is that they also share about themselves, what they could do better. Um, 
to help the group to be more successful. So they'll say things like, you know, I should I should get here a little bit earlier. Uh, I need to learn, um, you know, come in the virtual classroom and practice, uh, you know, um, how to use the technology more. They might say, I need to spend more time on developing my analytical questions or creating better questions. They might say, well, now that I see how you all do such and such, the outline, I might, I need to work on my outline. So you'll find that they begin to critique themselves and critique each other as a group and they become better and better at this process as a result because I strongly encourage them to be very blunt you know in a in a respectful manner and be very uh, transparent about what it is that they would need to work on as a group and what they need to work on individually so these are the ways that the LTVD process connects to Bloom's taxonomy and over time going through these steps over and over and over again, I'm sure you can envision and see how your students will become better at every single step. And the beauty of this for me is seeing that over time, they're going to be able to do this with anything that they read, anything that they're watching, if they're watching the news, that they have these skills, these thinking skills that they can take beyond your classroom out into the global marketplace. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and please make sure that you comment below so that if you have a question, I can support you in that or you may go over to the LTVD uh, mini course group where you can post your questions there and we can interact there. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.